Well, welcome back to Morning Break. Now, we are not only one month away from St. Patrick's Day, we are almost exactly that long away from the moment when the 199th Savannah St. Patrick's Day Parade will step off and into the streets of the city. Uh, Ashley Norris is the General Chairman of the St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee. He's here this morning with his Vice Chair, Tim Mahoney. They're going to help us start the countdown here at WTOC to the best day of the year in Savannah. Let's face it, guys, St. Patrick's Day is really what this time of year is all about around here, isn't it? Uh, yes, sir. We've, uh, we've been putting a lot of work in the executive committee that we have. Uh, we're meeting weekly right now. and We've been meeting weekly for a couple months, and we'll continue. We've uh, been planning all the activities that we have leading to uh, St. Patrick's Day, a lot of family-friendly things, uh, <coughs> cultural. So as we move closer, we get to see the work that we've already put in, everything kind of unwind and unveil. And, you know, we'd invite everybody to come to several of the events we have. You know, the Greening of the Fountains, one mm -hmm. of my favorites. Um, we actually met with uh, some of TOC yesterday to nice look, at, look at a couple of things. I saw fountain. somebody wearing the green polo. I was like, I oh, think yeah. they, somebody had a meeting with the parade committee. They did, they <laughs> did. Um, but we'll have that on March 10th at noon. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a great time. And, you know, it's, it's exciting to see the little kids be able to turn that fountain green and yeah. then, you know, mir miraculously all over the city, the water turns <laughs> green. It's, it's a wonderful little thing. Now, now, we're making a big deal about starting a countdown today, but I mean, the parade committee, this countdown starts a long time ago, doesn't it? You've been at it for, for months at this point. Oh, yeah. We have we started really right after the parade ends. You know, we had to reconcile everything from the previous year mm -hmm. and then start having monthly meetings until around October, and then it kind of cranks up from there. Right, and now you're meeting weekly, aren't you? It have been. We, we are. We are. And it's uh, you know, a lot, lot of time and effort these guys put in. We're an all-volunteer organization, so the hard work and dedication uh, that these guys put in, I really appreciate and you know, respect each of them and, and their families for allowing them to yeah. be able to do this stuff. And you know, I joke around with everybody and say, well, you know, I'm going to double your salary this year. <laughs> So you see, one of the great traditions of the parade is, uh, is of course, when the Grand Marshal is, is blessed on the steps of the cathedral. Uh, do you guys have a favorite part of, of the parade, uh, that just with all your years that you've been involved with it and just going to it as, as people here in the community? I'd probably say my favorite activity during the parade season is the Celtic Cross yeah. ceremony. It's, uh, you know, we, we have all the Irish organizations <clears throat> meet down at the cathedral, all march in. It's a beautiful mass if you've never seen it. Um, I know that y'all cover it, so mm -hmm. if you haven't <clears throat> seen it, watch it on TV. If you'd like to come, please join us. We'll uh, process down through the Old Fort District, which is where historically the Irish were in Savannah. We end up at the uh, Celtic Cross Monument, have a nice uh, speaker lined up for this year, and then a little reception. Right. And it's a, it's a good family. And that's friendly. the Sunday before St. Patrick's Day, That right? is, yes, sir. Fantastic. And Tim, your family has been in the parade oh, yeah. uh, and involved with the parade for generations. Uh, so what, what do you like about not only St. Patrick's Day in Savannah, but that day when the parade hits the streets? Well, I mean, <clears throat> I, I kind of concur with Ashley. The Celtic Cross, you know, was my, my father's uh, favorite event. I mean, the, the mass, the morning of the parade is unbelievable, but that mass and that procession to Emmett Park is, is wonderful. But really, um, being, being with your family on yeah. the day of the parade and having, having your kids and your wife walk with you, there's no better feeling, you know, especially when the weather's nice and yeah. nice and cool. So uh, hopefully we'll have some good weather for that. And that's something that is very important to the parade committee is, you know, everybody talks about the big festival and party in Savannah. The parade committee really tries to keep faith and family <clears throat> as part of the day. That is, and that's our forefront on everything. We, we celebrate our Irish culture, and we celebrate that by the faith of uh, St. Patrick and, you know, his spread of Christianity throughout Ireland. It's a, a great day. We, we don't forget our faith. We start Mass at 8 o'clock in the morning on St. Patrick's Day, and that's, you know, the, kind of the beginning of everything <coughs> until the, you know, last unit comes with the adjutant yeah. staff. And our wonderful adjutant, old John Bunker, has been doing a great job this year. <laughs> he's a... Uh, he's, uh, really stepping up. Excellent. Well, guys, good luck uh, during this last month. Again, I know a lot of hard work has already gone in. We're going to be selling you know, a lot of, of all of you uh, leading up to the parade. In fact, we're going to see you back here in about three weeks because while we're talking about St. Patrick's Day, we want to give you a reminder that your child's going to enter the annual WTOC coloring contest. Now, to get started, you can scan that QR code on your screen. Any student in our area can submit their work and overall winner We'll get to take part in the greening of the fountain. That is going to be on the, uh, the Friday before St. Patrick's Day at noon. And the deadline to enter the coloring contest 
This is March 2nd at 5 p.m. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, good luck with the, the next busy month, and, uh, and just thank you for all you do to, to put such a great parade. Thank you, Tim. We always appreciate thank you, your time. Thank you, guys. Good to see you. Thanks. A special St. Patrick's Day concert to help support students.